This lecture is going to be a really quick overview of the context and the history of Rerum Novarum and a little bit of the content as well. Um, first of all, Rerum Novarum is the first social encyclical that was promulgated in 1891 by Pope Leo XIII. Um, and it's concerned with the harsh conditions laborers were forced to endure both at work and in their squalid homes. Um, it's critical of capitalism and fearful of socialism. It tried to steer a via media between socialist state control and capitalist laissez-faire. It was convinced that peace could be achieved between the classes if the rich owners reached out generously to the poor workers. The encyclical advocates self-help organizations for the workers through the establishment of unions, and Leo XIII uses the term associations rather than unions at this point. He insists these unions or associations have a religious as well as social purpose, and that social theory used by the encyclical still relies heavily on neo-Thomistic categories derived from medieval theology. We won't see this, we will see this again in, in Quadragesimo Anno, the next um, chronologically um, in line with Rerum Novarum, but in the, it, it, once we get into the 1960s, um, these neo-Thomistic categories are going to begin to get filtered out of Catholic social theory. Leo XIII laments the passing of the medieval guild system, which comes across as somewhat nostalgic to a contemporary reader. I hope you enjoy reading Rerum Navarum. <laughs> 